Hi, and uh, welcome back to another Q&A series with uh, Mobility Engineering. Ali Akbarian here, your resident road safety expert. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to send us these questions before I uh, go on. Also, uh, check out my new subscribe pillow. I love this subscribe pillow. See this button here? It looks a bit like this. You see it down there somewhere? Hit that button, subscribe to our channel, and um, we'll, uh, we'll make sure you're updated with a lot of great info. So we'll chuck the pillow over there for now. And um, we've got another question that's coming come in from um, Stephanie, who uh, works in the industry. And basically what she has asked is, a client of mine has purchased buckle covers from, from Mobility Engineering, and I'll talk about the Mobility Engineering buckle cover in a minute. Um, and they find that it's quite difficult to use in their seatbelt, and they're wondering, is this a one size fits most? Do you have any tips for usage and so on? So what I thought we would do is give you a couple of tips for usage, a couple of things that um, we found, you know, find some issues and so on, how to resolve them, um, and also things you can do, and, and also explain to you what the buckle cover is. So I'll just put this uh, piece of paper over here, over here, and I'll show you guys, first of all, what we're talking about with the buckle cover. So the buckle cover here, and um, if you want to come a little bit closer, you can have a look at it. This is just a very simple plastic uh, device that meets the, this is basically an Australian standards approved or authorized or accepted, if you'd like, um, uh, product uh, that covers the buckle and your ability to engage and disengage the seatbelt. So the way it works, it's just a square box and it sits over the top of the, um, the seatbelt mechanism, the buckle mechanism, and it stops you from hitting the button. When it is supplied in order to meet the Australian standards, it must be clear, it must be like this, you must be able to see at all points the uh, seatbelt mechanism. This is for the event of an emergency. You must have instructions on how to clearly use it, which we've got a nice little handy instruction seat for how to use it. You must have a seatbelt cutter, so if there's an emergency, you can cut the seatbelt, so that's what comes in the kit. And a little sticker there saying buckle cover fitted to warn your emergency services should there be a um, need to eject someone in an emergency. Those are the things you need in order to basically tick all the boxes and make sure we're safe. So what we'll do now is we'll go into the car and I'll show you a few different scenarios of where it works and where it doesn't work um, and what we can do around that. And on top of that, um, in general, to answer your question before we go around that, it definitely is a one size fits, fits most. Um, so it's not going to fit everything and we, we do have options of making you custom um, buckle covers and so on. You just have to contact us and we can talk about it there. So I'll just get into this vehicle and I'll show you what we're doing there. If you come here closely, we've got, so this is our um, Volkswagen Caddy uh, demo vehicle which is sitting um, at our vehicle assessment centre here in Hornsby. Uh, and if you ever want to come and trial anything, including this vehicle, you're welcome to, including these buckle covers. So what you can see here in the back of this vehicle, which we're starting to see in some European vehicles, is you can see a very flush and a tight opening here around where the seatbelt is. Now if I want to put this buckle cover on, it's not going to fit on. So I've got two options here. I can try my best to squeeze it on. I'll probably start ripping fabric and I'll probably start ruining stuff. So for it to work, I can go and see someone and they can maybe adjust the fabric there now and they can remove some foam and then this will fit through that cavity. However, in this case, I probably wouldn't recommend that. That'll probably be pretty expensive and wouldn't look really good. What you can also do is get in contact with us and we can get these buckle covers custom made and we've done many of them before, uh, a one-off production. It is obviously a bit more expensive, it's, but surprisingly it's not as expensive as what you might think. Um, but yeah, you can get a custom one-off design made um, and we just manufacture it and uh, get it manufactured or, and, and give it to you based on what you've got. So, so yes, while they are a one size fits most, you can make customised buckle covers that meet the Australian standards, that come with all the kits and so on. And what I'll show you now is another common scenario, which I think might be more similar to what you're talking about in your vehicle, is where you've got two seatbelts together and they're sitting quite low. Now, again, in this case, what I've got is, if you see, if I put this down here, and, and I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark, but um, we should hopefully be able to see what we can see. If I see this, this attempts or looks like it probably will fit. But then when I bring the seatbelt around and I put it in, it actually doesn't go all the way in, right? And the reason for that is because down the bottom, this is actually hitting some plastic down there, right? And if you look at my uh, buckle cover up here, you can actually modify this. Well, when I say modify it, you can't go and cut it up and remake it, but what you can actually do is, so the Australian standard does not have a requirement for the size of it. What it says, it needs to be able to cover the whole thing. So we can still cover the whole thing, but what we can do in this case, we can get a bit of sandpaper um, and we can shave it down or a little bit of a, a blade or something. Probably some rough sandpaper would be the way to go. And literally maybe shave a couple of millimeters off the bottom of it. So then it will make that clearance. Because in this case here, it's literally only a couple of millimeters off. And then 
that's also an option which we've done with many clients. Uh, we can do that for you here, um, or you can just do it yourself and, and just make sure you don't damage it. You just gotta be nice and um, gentle with it and just, uh, you know, just shave it down and away you go. Now, if you come around to the front of the car, I've got a more standard seatbelt of where it works. So this is, this is a generic seatbelt and you see this style of seatbelt in most vehicles in the majority of applications. And if you have a look here, we've attached it on. It sits on, it fits really well. It went on with not that many issues. I can't get my hands up in there to touch the button or anything like that. And um, if I grab my car key, I can just hit my key like that and release it when I don't need it. And as you can see, it sits there. What, what we want to avoid is having a situation, what we've heard before is people sort of, see how it sits a little bit loose like this? This is actually on purpose. So we've had a little bit of feedback saying, oh, you know, this is um, too loose. We, we want it a bit tighter and people put wedges in there and they want to keep a buckle cover in there permanently. Now, one little tip there is we don't advise that at all because if someone uses this seat that is not supposed to use a buckle cover, then you can have a serious, first of all, legal implication, but also secondly, you can also have a serious safety implication. So you need to make sure you uh, consider that aspect when you're looking at permanent solutions like that. Um, but otherwise, as you can see, in general, it is a one size fit most product, it just goes straight on um, and it goes through and there are clips in. And uh, as I said before, there are some minor modifications and um, minor uh, little things you can do and we can also custom make buckle covers as well for you if you need them. So, that's basically it for that video. Thanks again for tuning in. As I said, hit that subscribe button. Looks a bit like this. Hopefully we can get to a thousand subscribers one day. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks very much.